Check this out. Last week we were on site, there was a house here. Just behind me we've got the 14 ton digger on site. We've got a house. Just think about the two of those meeting and then there's no more house. It's gone, we've got building consent and we're ready to go. Let me tell you about this five lot subdivision. I've got Luke the designer here. Hey Luke. Hey Josh, how's it going? Uh, building consent plans in your hands, stamped and approved. Building consent's ready to go, resource consent approved. We're ready to start. So you've done five two bedrooms in a row? That's right, and so by eliminating the stairwell out of these plans as well, we've maintained a similar size of actual usable floor area. So two full size bedrooms with double wardrobes, bathroom and open plan kitchen living areas. So when we engaged you to do the design on the site, we wanted to tackle two key issues, price and time frame. Tell us how we solve those problems, Luke. Well, by going for a single story design, we've managed to eliminate a lot of the complexity that's added by the second story. So without actually losing any usable space. So overall, we're a smaller square meter than some of the two story similar products on the market. However, we've still got two good sized double bedrooms with double wardrobes in all other than the last unit. Good flow out from the bedrooms and the living area out to a courtyard, which you don't get with a two story. But by eliminating that stairwell, we, we can take about eight square meters out of the plan without actually losing any usable space. From a builder's point of view, it's having that single story and eliminating scaffold on site for ages, it's gonna really streamline that build. That's right, and that's, that's the idea with it. And what that ultimately means is a more cost effective product for similar value realised. The size will appeal to retired people or people who don't necessarily want to use stairwells as often. Yeah, so like easy access. Yep, exactly. Because we're on a single story, each unit get the living areas opening out to a northern courtyard but also the master bedrooms out to a northern courtyard. So the whole way along you get fantastic sun the whole way around. So this is what we'd see on this side of the building? That's right. Is there anything else we need to know from the designer, Sam? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe talk about how it's cool to turn what was here, like an old rundown two yeah, bedroom yeah. house. No, you're right. I think the exciting part for me is, is seeing an older building that was uh, well past its date and uninsulated, and really kind of unlivable now, becoming five new warm units that can be used by five different people now, or five different families or couples. And the proximity to the city, we've got the train station in less than a 10 minute walk over there. We've got cafes, we've got shop, doctors, everything you need, and all within walking distance. It's really cool to be a part of the solution, providing more livable spaces. If you want to find out more about this project make sure you see the link below. In the meantime let's chuck a drone up.